just a quick one this morning um i want to talk to my gender what i'm about to talk about is not anything new no it's been preached it's been spoken about severally but i still want to hammer on it because it is very very important and that is having your own livelihood having a job to sustain yourself it's very very important you cannot and you cannot and you cannot rely on a man you cannot be 100 percent dependent on your husband now this has affected a lot of women even from getting married because they are looking for that man that can pay all their bills that man that can look after them they are not looking at a man they can work together achieve together and be there for each other the more you keep looking for the man that can help you you end up having problem now peradventure you marry that man who is able to look after you even your own family as well what if this man has financial challenge what are you going to fall back on what is wrong in the man also asking you my dear I have a contract I'm pursuing. Can you loan me two million, five million? Let me add it to my business and I'll refund it back to you. What is wrong with you being there to help, being there to support? That is your job anyway. That is your calling to be an helpmate. Now, if your husband you cannot be an helpmate to your husband financially, so what are you doing in that marriage? That aside. Anything can happen. What goes up must come down. Challenges will happen. Life will happen. If your husband lost his job or all, all his business goes down, or a challenge happens, how are you going to survive? How will you support the family until he's able to pick up again? Are you going to abandon him and run away? That is not marriage. That is said number two. The third one I want you to remember is this. What happens when you are so dependent on the man and the man is frustrating you in the marriage, is abusing you, abusing the children, so much so that you want to leave the marriage. But you cannot leave because when you leave, you have nothing to fall back on. You now keep yourself in bondage in the marriage. And when they ask you, why are you not leaving? Do you want to kill yourself? Do you want him to kill you? You'll be like, if I, if I, I want to go, but where will I go? I want to leave. But where will I start from? If I leave, who will look after my children? Come on. Come on.